Okay, how safe would you feel to build your home with reinforced concrete? I mean, not just steel bars reinforced concrete, bamboo reinforced concrete. Bamboo, yes, I mean the regular bamboo you see around. That's the bamboo I'm talking about. Is this scary? Um, is this something you think you can do? Well, all of this, I'm excited. We'll be talking about that today. So don't go nowhere because we're about to dig in. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ubed Kazacha and here I review building materials, building components and general building solutions. If you like that kind of stuff, I'd like you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell icon um, and you get to be notified every time I release a new video. And if this is your second time you return to my channel, welcome back. Thank you very much. So let's dig in. All right, sorry guys, you have to be with the noise, the background noise. Um, I just have to record today and there's a lot of activities going on around here. So I'll need you to just ignore the background noise completely. All right, like the steel reinforcements, reinforced concrete generally, the same operations goes for a bamboo reinforced concrete. Nothing changes. You have the design, you have the construction, you have the concrete mixture and everything. All of that is done the same. It's just that the replaced reinforced steel bars are done with bamboo. Hmm. So bamboo regularly, you know, primarily, especially on this side of the world and other places, bamboo is majorly used for scaffolding, supports for concrete operations, bracings, and uh, props and all of that but can you actually have you thought have you considered using bamboo as a reinforced concrete material replacing your y16 and your y12 have you considered that now bamboo has a lot of advantages i mean to even talk about that the, i i discovered that bamboo has over 1500 species are you telling me the truth so they are over 1500 species of bamboo in fact i don't know what species we have down here in nigeria so i don't know where you're watching this from but i would like you to drop the species you know of bamboo you guys use in your country or how many species you guys have but there are different species of bamboo and each of those species have their own properties and these are properties that help you um, that tells you what you can use this bamboo for Actually, they have common properties, but some of those properties make them even stronger or make them suitable for use in some um, functions in the construction industry. So basically, I was talking about um, uses. You can use bamboo for several things around the building industry, even the furnishing of your house, your, your kitchen utensils, your uh, their alcoholic drinks that are produced from bamboo. Can you imagine that? roofing materials, floor materials, and um, gazebos, and wall cladding, exoskeletons of buildings, and all of that. A lot of uses, like you have bamboo all around the place. And sometimes you don't even know that this product is actually made from bamboo. But to this video, I would really just want to focus on bamboo as a reinforced concrete material. As a reinforced concrete material, um, some of the difference, uh, some of the differences and um, advantages of bam the bamboo has is that bamboo is readily available, it's environmental friendly, and then bamboo is a light material. It has a tensile strain that makes it that gives it an edge against um, reinforced steel bars and all of those other attributes that makes uh, bamboo suitable for all of this. But just before you rush to consider using bamboo as your choice reinforced concrete material there are factors you need to consider there's quite a number of factors you need to consider and just like other building materials bamboo has its own limitations bamboo has its own 
issues and problems that you might probably have to deal with have to treat it or find uh, a way around it so but there we've seen bamboo used for beautiful structures structures you've not even imagined and i'll be dropping the there i mean i saw awesome things and i'm going to be sharing that with you on this video you're going to see awesome buildings awesome structures that are that are that have been erected using bamboo and then here we are i just have all all along thought that bamboo can just be used for scaffolding and then concrete operation support systems and all of that but i'll be talking basically about reinforced concrete using bamboo continue so how do you select bamboo as a material to use for your reinforced concrete? There are factors you need to consider. Like I said earlier, there's, a, there's quite a number of species, different species of bamboo. You need to be sure that this bamboo you're going to use, this species of bamboo has the properties you need to serve as a reinforced concrete material. That is re replacing um, the steel reinforcement bars. Number one is the bonding properties that bamboo is supposed to have with concrete concrete elements I beg your pardon concrete elements so when i talk about concrete elements i'm talking about coarse aggregate fine aggregate sand and cement those are the elements for concrete so and if you remember your reinforcement bars your y16 y12 and y8 or y10 y20 all of those reinforcement bars a number of them have ribbed surface and that ribbed surface helps them or gives them that um, ability to bond even properly with concrete elements but the bamboo I've seen has fine uh, exterior it's, it's fine so you need to be sure that this bamboo uh, research has shown that this bamboo is suitable and is going to bond properly with your concrete elements actually concrete countries uh, with um, large bamboo supplies have gone ahead through research and technology inventions have gone ahead to discover ways they can actually treat their bamboos to be used for some of these purposes the pictures I'll be sharing will blow your mind you're going to see that these people have already been using bamboo as a reinforced concrete material for a very long time you know so they have through research discovered that they can actually enhance or improve the abilities or the properties of their bamboo material therefore they've been using it for a long time so you have to consider that the bonding properties can it be able to bond with your concrete elements secondly you have to consider the durability how durable can can your bamboo material be in the concrete in the real in the concrete element because it's supposed to save you for quite some time you're talking about 25 years upward so how durable is that bamboo material supposed to be that's secondly thirdly you also need to consider um, the treatment for um, other attacks that bamboo could suffer because when you have bamboo um, placed in a, in a concrete um, element uh, it has it suffers termite attack it suffers moisture like a moist bamboo is actually going to rot yes it's going to rot so that bamboo has to be treated to withstand all of those um, issues all of those issues and then another thing that you need to consider in making your choice like choosing what um, bamboo you want to use is water absorption capabilities like every bamboo you have to use for your reinforced concrete um, operations has to have a low absorption low water absorption um, property yes because if your bamboo absorb water absorbs water um, so fast then it's going to rot in the concrete because the concrete is not properly aerated to allow the water um, come out or to allow the bamboo to dry so if it doesn't dry it's going to rot in the concrete so all of those are things you need to consider you need to think about before going ahead to use bamboo for your reinforced concrete um, jobs so my recommendations having said all of this i would like to recommend that having checked all of these things before choosing 
any bamboo material to use, I would suggest that you use bamboo for your bungalows, the columns, your beams, your lintels, all of that on a bungalow structure. That means you're not going multiple floors. It's just a ground floor structure and then your roof. Why is because I've seen quite a number of structures um, that are without columns, are without beams. You just have the lintel and all of that. And that's very dangerous because you have a pressure of the life load and the dead load of your roof uh, pressuring um, your block work or whatever you decide to use as your block work and that results to cracks and all of that so but having columns on the four corners or on the edges of your structure and then a beam that anchors them which the roof sits upon um, has a way of transferring the load from the roof to the beams and from the beams to the columns and from the columns down to the foundation that saves your block work and um, it's, it's quite cheap it's quite cheap i mean bamboo is readily available it's lightweight and then it even reduces the quantity of concrete consumption because just imagine what's the diameter of a regular bamboo you can use for your your column and you're going to have four of it and then your y10 or your y8 reinforcement bar around it and then you anchor that together you have your column and then you can place your concrete it's, I believe it's better and then you can also use bamboo for your um, retaining wall you can use bamboo for your retaining wall you can use bamboo for your ground beams for me I can use bamboo for my ground beams to reduce pressure of back feeling of ram ramming and all of that I believe I can use you can use bamboo for all of that and then you can use bamboo also for um, canopies um, your gazebos some of those um, open areas you can do that you can do that all you have to do is give sufficient if projection so that um, water rainwater will not have direct impact or direct contact with it so you have a way of extending your if projection no matter how you want to do the design you can have it extend so that it has a way of covering the the, the, the bamboo uh, columns you know so all of that you can improvise you can think about it you can think about it i believe that we have materials we are not limited with building materials it's just that our thoughts are streamlined to what we are used to so we're used to um we're used to timber we're used to reinforcement bars we're used to regular concrete even not non reinforced not reinforced concrete and all of that but i think we can actually explore we can think and we can try all of these things out we can try all of them and um, I'm sure we're going to keep growing and keep be getting better, discovering what we can actually do with some of these materials. Interestingly, bamboo has a unique way of curing. So as you have a reinforced, a steel bar reinforced concrete, you cure, you have a way of curing them, of course. So, but you don't cure bamboo that way because I mean, you, you're curing, you're putting water on the concrete, it sinks in into the concrete and then the bamboo in, in the concrete absorbs it and then it rots. So you don't go about it that way. So I'll be, deta I'll be detailing all of that in a link. I'm dropping in the descri this description box. <laughs> in the description box. And I'd like you to check that out. Um, Whatever you want to do with bamboo, you, you, you're a student, you're doing a project, your school project, and then you're considering doing a gazebo, you're considering doing an event hall, you want to do an event hall, or you want to use it just as your reinforcement bars, I would like you to look all of those links I'm dropping in the description box, they will help you. You will, go, you will get to read everything in details, and these are basic things you can do yourself well except for the treatments <laughs> i don't know if you can do the treatment yourself but there are a lot of operations even the joinery like the joinery you don't do it regularly how you're going to do for timber so you need to look that up read it up yourself see pictures see videos and then you improve and then you have an idea how you go about it and getting a skilled craftsman um, to get it done for you so guys that will be all for now don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like the video to share with friends and also drop your comments 
I mean, I would like you to tell me their product you want me to review, their product you want me to talk about, or you have a product and you want me to research on it and then share. I would love to do that. And then you, you have questions, you need clarity on something. I would want you to reach out. I mean, I'll be there to answer you. And I also, we have professionals on the forum, on the platform, on the channel, and they're going to answer you. So, yes, to subscribe actually is just underneath this video you're going to see a subscribe button just click on it and then there's going to be a bell i'll need you to click on that bell too it's a notification bell icon it tells you that oh obed has released another new video so you don't get to miss out so i'll see you on the next one i have something beautiful coming your way and i'll see you soon